I'm Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof and a professional biohacker. I'm here to do something weird to my brain today. I'm at Kadima uh, Neuropsychiatry with Dr. Feifel. We're going to be doing a 64 channel EEG. I'm going to be experiencing ketamine in a medical setting. And we're going to be doing some experimental and some clinical work using very powerful magnetic stimulation on my brain. We're at 60 centimeters onto this. Alright. So I'm just gonna have you put your head, your chin down to your chest, and I'll tell you when to lift. Keep your breath closed. So I'm gonna adjust these. I'm doing a 64 channel EEG assessment to see what's going on in here. Alright, there you go, slide over. hearing portion of the test and the following task you will hear tones you should press one whenever you hear the target tone so i just spent a couple of minutes listening to a bunch of little beeping sounds kind of like a cardiac monitor in the hospital and when there's a different sound that match one they showed me, I would press a button and we're measuring how quickly I can press the button and seeing what my brain does when I'm sorting out sounds. All right, you're all done with the auditory part. All right. And the following task, letters will be presented on the screen. Press one as fast as you can whenever a letter appears. When the letter X appears, do not press one. This is a, a test that's particularly hard for me. All you do is you look at a letter that comes up and press a button every time there's a letter, unless it's X, you don't push it. And what you find is you just automatically press a button when the X shows up. For most people, it triggers this, ah, I failed, and then you run through this little mental loop about, like, why the heck did my brain do that? And bottom line is your brain's always doing stuff you don't want it to do. And the process of becoming a higher performance human is, human is becoming aware of that and then learning to train the brain to do what you want it to do, which has been a big part of, of how I've become who I am today. Just finished the auditory and visual discrimination and performance testing. Now I'm off to go see Dr. Feifel and then ketamine. This is the H1 coil uh, from Brainsway. It's, um, it's sort of the latest uh, in, in, in TMS technology. For every part of the brain, there's a coil. The coils are designed uh, to target a certain part of the brain. So this is the H1 for depression. What does a piece of clinical gear like this cost? This piece, uh, the piece of equipment here, uh, here costs over $200,000. This H1 is designed to target your left dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, oh, nice. which is a very important uh, area for mood regulation. Uh, it's also very important for a lot of other executive function kinds of things. Actually, really excited to see you using this in practice because it's very cutting edge. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this this beautiful, fashionable blue velvet cap on you. We run this all the way back. It's gonna be our coordinate system. And the reason we chose 40% is that's about the area where your motor cortex is on both sides of your brain. Moving the, the, the helmet around uh, to, in order to get this, the area where we get the strongest involuntary twitches from your right hand. That's when we know we're right over the left motor cortex. And once we know that, we take those coordinates, we'll know how to move it to the, the, the area we want to treat. You're looking to see when my fingers twitch because of the magnetic stimulation exactly. on the brain. Exactly. That's cool. We're going to be stimulating uh, the uh, hand motor cortex on your left side. That controls your hand on the right side. So this is approximately where your hand motor cortex is. So we're going to give you two clicks here, and we're going to be watching to see if your hand moves. So our first stimulation, three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, you're a good twitcher. So we have the coordinates for your motor cortex. So we're going to now move um, the helmet to the place where you would be getting the treatment. Okay, you all set for your first train? Yeah, let's try it. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. 
Whoa, that's so weird. I feel it in my third upper molar on the right, and like there's a muscle clenching on the scalp, which is it going in? Weird. It's not painful or anything, it's just noticeable. All right, you ready now for some of those trains? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. So weird. I actually got it on a faster. I've accelerated it. Normally we get 20 seconds between, but I thought it would be. Uh, I can handle this. It would be good to just feel what seven of those are one after the other. All right. Wow. I feel it's like something happened on the left as well. It might just be the mirror thing going on, but it's, it's much more on the right, but it feels like two little swirly things up there. Just finished my first TMS treatment with Dr. Feifel, and we stimulated my dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, also known as your PFC. And when we did it, it felt pretty weird, uh, like a little bit of scrunching in my scalp, and I felt my energy shift uh, upwards a little bit. And now, a couple minutes later, I'm feeling happier, sort of like this is gonna be a really good day, a little bit more in the zone, different than I did before in a good way. I can imagine doing this on a daily basis would be powerful. I'm about to experience ketamine in a medically supervised setting for the first time. Just wired myself up with biomonitoring gear. I'm going to be listening to a chosen soundtrack and experiencing uh, a psychedelic that is 100% legal for clinical use everywhere and has similar effects to things like MDMA or even LSD that have been used clinically years ago but that are very hard to get legally for medical professionals. It turns out ketamine, which is in every emergency room everywhere, has similar effects for people healing very deep traumas. I'm looking, I don't even know if I have any deep traumas right now that I haven't already hacked, uh, but I'm looking to figure out here, are the things that I'm missing? Maybe there's more I, I can learn. Maybe there's another level. In fact, I believe there's another level. There's always another level. Maybe I'll find it today. I'll tell you what happens. Okay, so we're gonna give you the first, um, first injection. Okay, you all set? Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Nice stick, didn't even feel it. All right. Good. We're able to see Dave's real-time vital signs. The nurses and staff are going to be monitoring that from the outside. Hey, you can hit the soundtrack right now. But do tell me if you start to feel something. I'm feeling a little bit of tingling uh, oh, right. right here, yeah. right, kind of spreading throughout, but it, it feels like the very beginnings of something. Yeah, right? yeah. A little tingling in the roof of my mouth. Yeah, the mouth and lips is very common. I'm feeling energized and just super relaxed right now. That's good. Uh, so definitely the ketamine is doing something. And yeah, now I'm feeling it. It's like a whole body melting, kind of relaxing, good feeling. All right, it's totally kicked in. Well, welcome back, Dave. Uh, thanks. I think I'm most of the way back. I'm still feeling it okay. a little bit. Uh, Partially back. Seeing a few trails. I just found stuff came real easily. Definitely got intuition, awareness, uh, and greater consciousness of, uh, of be behavior patterns, uh, and even just kind of how things line up the way they're supposed to be. Uh, a little bit of gratitude for that. And going, oh, that makes, I never thought about that. If I had thought about that in 25 years, but now I get it. And just putting little pieces together of, of your life story. So profoundly cool stuff. Yeah. And thanks, Dr. Feifel. You're welcome.